All right, guys, I've been looking to put this one up for a little while. Uh, I can't find this anywhere else. Uh, I'm guessing this is true, okay? I would say this is probably 100% true. Just listen to it. According to this story, a former U.S. general was abused and beaten in police custody. Don't know. Just putting it out there. Keeping my 30 seconds counter currency news or current news. A retired Army general says he is ashamed to be an American after brutal arrest by police. Okay, this guy here. Officers from Fayette, Georgia, or Fayetteville, Georgia, police department brutally arrested and retired four star Army general in the United States Army. Now he says he's ashamed to be an American because of how out of control the police have gotten. William J. Livy, 84, along with his neighbors, have accused police of several violent acts during the alleged dispute with food delivery driver. It's the first time I'm ashamed to be an American, he told Atlanta, Georgia Constitution. He says, uh, noted that a portion of Highway 314 in town renamed General Bill Limsey Highway in Limsey's honor. In other words, this guy has his own highway, folks. They added that a retired that he retired from duty in 1987 following a career saw him with distinguished flying cross, silver star, distinguished service medal, among many other honors. What happened next is for a court of sort out. Uh, driver says an 84-year-old man grabbed him by the throat and pinned him against a refrigerator. But the physical state of Livy makes that somewhat difficult to imagine. As you will see in the video at the bottom of this article. So let me get into this real quick on what it actually is saying. It's saying that there was some kind of discrepancy in some highway, possibly by this guy's name. I, this is the story. And that somebody said that the 84-year-old guy grabbed him by the throat, threw him against some vehicle. This is what I'm getting from the paperwork, folks. You can go back and listen to it again. Okay. Uh, but neighbors who witnessed the incident says it's blown out of proportion by the police, according to neighbor who spoke with local WSB-TV. Way too many police for that. Way too many. And the way they handcuffed him it was ridiculous. Watch local WSB's report. I'm not going to play the video. So. But this is it, folks. I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a situation where I can't even get the paperwork on my own case. I can't even get the case number. That's it. That's it. That's all I can do. I have had judges, or I'm sorry, lawyers say there's nothing on file. I've had local and FBI tell me there's nothing on file. And yet I was, ex you know, from a uh, situation and other things. And sooner or later it's got to go to court. And when it does, they're going to trump it up into the sky. And it's just over something that I don't even understand why it's even on the books. I don't. I don't even understand. I don't. I mean, they threatened to cut off my... Actually, well, actually, the officers claimed that they were going to, I quote, smash my hand till it had to be amputated. That's fucked up, folks. And I kind of thought back then that they would have had the authority to do that to an American citizen. Fucked up, folks.